Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, nice talk. Uh, maybe you're thinking about, uh, uh, come on, this guy, this poor guy, uh, you sit down because uh, your uh, previous talk was conclusive. You have nothing to do here. So, uh, first of all, I'm trying to attract your sympathy, starting with a formal way of saying thank you very much for inviting me to this meeting, uh, uh, but uh, I have to say it is not very polite inviting someone uh, talking after Jim McGigan and <laughs> trying to uh, uh, state the opposite, uh, but I will try. Um, I have to thank also Teresa. Uh, Teresa is uh, one of my uh, junior associates. He conducted the PubMed search for me. And you will see that, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, both Jim and myself reviewed the same, exactly the same uh, papers, but the conclusions are quite different. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, I'm trying to focus the problem. I'm not talking about this patient. This poor patient ha has the, the whole left chest deformed by a, a crash. Um, uh, uh, accident, um, he's probably needing some uh, restoration of the respiratory function, but I'm not focusing on these kind of problems, and I'm not focusing on uh, patients with two, three, four refractors. Of course, I don't agree these patients need any kind of refixation. I never did in my life. Uh, I'm trying to speak about this kind of patients with flail chest wall and uh, pulmonary contusion, pneumothorax, broken um, uh, organs inside of the chest, broken bronchus or whatever. And uh, if you see this patient, this is exactly the type of patients I'm trying to, um, to focus on today. In these cases, several kinds of reef fixations like this one or these other uh, plates or pins or whatever are useful. I'm not uh, focusing on what kind of reef fixation is needed because it depends on your hospitals, it depends on, uh, uh, on, uh, on your uh, facilities and all that. What I did, uh, what I did, uh, okay, Okay, uh, was reviewing the medical literature because m my experience is not comparable to James' experience in treating hundreds of patients, and I never treated uh, hundreds of patients with reef fractures, I mean, in theater. So uh, I designed this clinical scenario. My patient is a patient admitted to the emergency area, with severe blunt chest trauma and no major head or abdominal injuries. Why not major head, major head injury? Because as you can see in this paper, this is the same paper the previous speaker quoted. Uh, if a patient is having severe head injury, his probability of death is 40%. Well, if he's simply having chest injury, his probability, major chest injury, his probability of death is 11%. So we shouldn't add another injury to, to this poor patient operating on his chest wall. So, of course, in patients with major head injury, refixation is not indicated. This patient requires mechanical ventilation due to acute respiratory insufficiency. And of course, respiratory insufficiency is caused by two factors. One is impairment of um, uh, uh, ventilatory mechanism due to multiple drift factors producing flail chest. And the second and the most important factors, factor is uh, pulmonary contusion, of course. So the, the question here is, in patients with severe flail chest trauma requiring mechanical ventilation, 
do surgical rib stabilization compared to mechanical ventilation alone improves immediate or long-term outcomes? Uh, from, from the um, literature review my associates conducted for me, I selected just four papers, and I didn't tell her. Uh, two systematic reviews. This is the same uh, uh, Mr. McGigan quoted before. And two are matched cases and controls, not retrospective analysis, not uh, uh, case series. These are um, uh, papers comparing pears and pears and apples to apples, not different kinds of patients and all that. The two first um, uh, uh, systematic reviews, uh, I, uh, I, I put in here that the level of evidence is 1C minus because the quality of the review is not perfect and the quality of randomized trials they are quoting is not perfect. So that's the reason why I, I put in here the evidence 1C minus uh, and here with question marks because this paper is gathering uh, randomized trials, retrospective analysis, um, matched cases and controls analysis and all that. So, uh, but curiously, uh, if you look at outcomes in the acute phase, all papers quote a decreased rate of hospital pneumonia, decreased rate of tracheostomy, decreased uh, ventilation and staying at the ICU time in both cases. But um, um, in the case of um, uh, matched cases and controls, the quality of the evidence is 3B, of course. This is not a randomized prospective trial. But in this case, they are uh, uh, reporting 411 cases. In this case, they are reporting 420 cases, which is a lot of cases. And the conclusions are decreased ICU and mechanical ventilation, and most importantly, decreased hospital death rate. Talking about uh, uh, long-term outcomes, uh, in this case, uh, the authors uh, uh, published less deformity. In this case, they published a uh, higher rate of people coming back to his uh, job. Uh, if this were in my country, this would be not a, a good outcome. It would be a miracle due to, to the high rate of unemployment we are suffering in my country. So probably we should operate on all unemployment people and see what happened. Um, so look at this scenario. All reports are talking about lower staying at the ICU, lower mechanical ventilation time, and lower hospital death rate. So my conclusions are that regarding long-term outcomes, I can't conclude anything because only one of the papers is commenting on, on uh, quality of life, long-term quality of life, and all that. But regarding acute outcomes, it is clear for the uh, literature review from 2015 that immediate outcomes are better. So in summary, in severe chest trauma without head injury, surgical stabilization decreases ICU time mechanical ventilation time, tracheostomy time, and hospital death rate. So the recommendation is a grade B, surgical fixation of fractured ribs is indicated in patients with severe blunt chest trauma without head injury requiring mechanical ventilation. Thank you very much for your attention.